Hello and welcome to the Power Newscast. This week we're going to talk about how commercial off-the-shelf software stacks up against low-code. And we give a quick peek to the new Reactive Web Developer certification. In hints and how-tos, we check out how it is possible to upload large files using OutSystems. And as it is usual, we go over the highlights from the OutSystems community. This week we start with an article from OutSystems that covers how commercial off-the-shelf software is starting to not show the results that the current age demands, and how low-code may be the answer to this problem. There has been a shift where business is turning away from off-the-shelf software for quite some time now, although the rate has increased more recently. Nowadays, companies can't be constrained by the software, and because of this, more businesses are turning to low-code. With the current digital disruption, business rules and processes are always changing. Due to that, organizations must be able to adapt fast. And to do that with commercial off-the-shelf software just isn't feasible. This is where the low-code capabilities provided by OutSystems come into light. With them, business can replace or enhance their software at their own pace. If this has piqued your interest, you can read the full article at the following page. OutSystems has announced the launch of the new Associate Reactive Web Certification Exam. This certification is aimed at web developers that are new to OutSystems, so there are no prerequisites. If you have an Associate Mobile Developer Certification, it is not recommended that you take this new certification at the moment. In the future, the Reactive Web and Mobile Training Certification paths will be adapted to better express what is the next step for the OutSystems certifications. To get ready for this exam, you can attend the Reactive Web Bootcamp, a face-to-face -face training experience, or take the online guided path. To find out more about this new course, you can find a forum post at this page. Now let's go check out the hints and how-tos for this week. A free sample of practice tests have been made available by the MVP community member Rafael Pereira. This announcement is for those that are now getting ready for the Associate Web Developer exam. The questions are based on the official certification documentation recommended by OutSystems. But this is an independent effort and not an official old systems initiative. To be able to access the sample tests, a registration at the website is necessary. To reach the English version, you can go to this link. And for the Portuguese version, you can go to this one. If you wish to find more about this, you can go to the forum post at this link. Next, we're going to talk about the how-to that takes us through the necessary steps to change a factory configuration to allow the upload of large files. Whenever it's necessary to upload larger files, you must edit the web.config file. This guide explains just that. It goes through the available factory configuration settings that we might want to update. And what are the necessary steps to reach the desired effect? In case you want to reach this tutorial, you can find a post at the following link. Next, let's take a look at what has been happening on the Forge. Now talking about the Forge. After going through this week's deployments by the community members, we have the following picks. After the forward segment, let's go over to the idea of the week. This week's idea for the COVID-19 community response program that got more feedback was the proposal for the app Around Me. The concept of the app is to allow the small local business to advertise their services in the context of the COVID-19 to their local neighbors. The app would allow for the local business to sign up and provide their information and should allow the citizen to search by the services of the local business to find out who is open or providing deliveries. Citizens can then use the information provided by business to contact or know where to find them. To find more about this idea or provide your feedback, you can find it at this ideas page that is below. Another idea that picked up some interest was a request to add the list functionality to the assign widget. What the idea proposes is to add the existing mechanism of the actions input variables of the type entity or structure to the assign widget. The way for this to work would be when a variable of the type entity or structure will be entered on the variable field of the assign, allow for a click on a specific icon that will show a list where we then be able to associate all of its parameters to new values. To read more about this or show your support, you can reach this idea at this ideas page. That is all for this week's edition of the newscast. Thank you very much for watching and please join us next time for more autism news by Outpower. Have a great day.